right? Right, Krishika, you can ask from the recording from five to seven session. Right, others, whenever you have done with all these five questions, let me know. Have you all done it? Shenaya, have you done? Nimesha, you done, right? Vihara Vidu, I want the answers. Gavishka, let me know the update. Shall we discuss the questions, guys? Hirusha done, Dilan done. Others? Gavishka? Right, okay. We'll discuss the questions now. We'll discuss the questions now. We'll discuss the questions now, right? First one, we had question number one, right? First one is write the double entries for the following transactions. First one, business purchase a motor vehicle for 750,000. So it's cash account should be credit, how much? 750,000. And motor vehicle account should be debited. Should be debited 750,000 for the first one. Then second one, business purchase a computer. Cash account credit 500,000. And the computer. Should be debited 500,000. Right? If you have any concerns in any of these transactions, let me know. Right? Third one business purchase a land for 500,000. It's cash account should be credited 500,000. Land should be debited 500,000. Debited 500. Right. Then fourth one, business purchase of furniture and fittings for rupees 250,000. Cash account should be credited 250,000. Then furniture and fitting should be debited 250,000. Purchase of equipment, fifth one. Cash account should be credited 100,000. And equipment account should be debited 100,000. You might ask, uh, uh, what would happen if I put for purchase account completely wrong? Because any of these doesn't say stock. If you purchase stock only, it will be moved for purchase account. Is it clear, guys? Any questions in here? Gavishka? Dilan might know that you don't have any questions. Hirusha? Isaac? Lakshika, Khalid, Nimasha, Shenaya, Viharavidu, Madusha. No, no, you can't have that. It's computer. Office equipment, something else. It's wrong. Is it clear? Others? Right, okay. Do the question number two, guys. I will give you just five minutes. Huh? 
डू द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू प्लीज डू द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू प्लीज राइट द डबल एंट्रीज Do the question number two. Okay. I mean, till we finish this month, right? Some uh, usual our normally, basically the regular class things might be difficult for you guys, because regular class I have started from like, I think from March or somewhere. So it's we have spent some time for them. So you have to give me some time till I refresh your knowledge, till I update you, not refresh, like update your knowledge for that level. right so i will take all this month to update your knowledge for that level that's why i haven't still started the uh, the our next lesson also primary books i think i have send you all the that tutorial also for you guys can i give me a second Give me a second. There is a what about notification? Yeah, can I make it? So, Mishu, just let me just keep it hold on there. Right, no problem. Give me some minutes. Let me have to check with the Zoom thing. Isaac, uh, we can't straight away move for that. We are going like step by step. No, you have to wait till I come for there. 
right so you did you watch didn't you watch that part in the online accounting hotel case stuff so isha that credit basis stuff Hmm. You need to check with that because this that will be discussed. That's a bit hard. So we have to first finish off these things to come for that level. All right. Okay. Isak, it's all about like. Eka matagat yaga na. Credit be or special double entry scale. You know, me tiu te kaj pe na madhi lati. You know, lamai kran oiti kata baad antar gan. Then no issue. Right. Is it everything fine, guys? No? Nimesha, da. Shenaya, didn't hear from you. Viharavidu, Adisha. Uh, double entry for that is purchase debit creditors credit. Isa. Purchase debit creditors credit. Double entry for that is purchase debit creditors credit, right? Right. Okay. So we'll discuss the question, guys. Right. And I will be uh, moving for another new point in here. That's called ledger accounts. That's called ledger accounts. Right. I'll be moving for another new thing. It's called ledger accounts. Right. That's called ledger accounts. Right. Ishak, it's purchase debit creditors credit. Fine, right? Purchase debit, creditors credit, right? So first transaction is business paid five thousand electricity expense. So it's cash account should be credited five thousand electricity expense should be debited five thousand, right? Krishik, can you mute it yourself? Paid ten thousand for telephone bill. Cash credit ten thousand. Telephone debit. Telephone debit ten thousand. Telephone debit ten thousand. Then third one pay twenty five thousand for insurance premium. So it's cash credit twenty five thousand. Insurance debit twenty five. Insurance should be debited twenty five. Then the next one is the fourth one. Purchase computer. So it's cash credit. Computer debit ten thousand. Five purchase goods for hundred and fifty thousand. Cash credit hundred and fifty thousand. Then here it's purchase debit hundred and fifty thousand. Right. Then sixth one pay twelve thousand five hundred for traveling expenses. Then traveling expenses debit cash credit. Traveling expenses debit twelve thousand five hundred. Just check whether your answers are correct. If your answers are correct, put ticks marks in red color. Red color, right? Pay twenty five thousand for marketing. It should be marketing expenses, lah, mate. So cash credit twenty five thousand. Marketing expenses debit twenty five thousand. Marketing expenses debit twenty five thousand. Eight one paid fifty thousand for rent expense, so it's cash account should be credited fifty thousand. Rent expense should be debited fifty thousand. Rent expense should be debited fifty thousand. Just check your answers, and if it is correct, put a tick mark. If it is wrong, put cross and write down the correct one in red color. And let me know any questions, guys. If you have any questions, let me. Know. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. 
If you have any questions, let me know. Do you have any questions, Dilanma, Adishta, Gavishka? If anything it's wrong, or if you can't, if you don't know how to adjust that particular transaction, let me know the update. Any questions? Gavishka? Isaac, Khalid, Viharavidu, Nimesha? Any questions? Right. If you have no questions, no problems, even I could ask questions from you just before that. Till now, it's uh, time is it's also like near almost for the five o'clock. So we'll move for the next part. So next part is called ledger accounts. Ledger accounts. Lama in accounting, these basics are the master. These basic things are the must. If you don't know the basics, you can't do accounting. Right. I have seen a lot of students, they try to change the class like once they are at the middle of a, like uh, we'll say in grade 12, at the middle of the grade 12 syllabus, they're trying to change the class. But sometimes uh, even a lot of students talk to me. So look here, I want to come for error from the error correction lesson. Then I ask, before you come for error correction, do you know double entries? If they say, yes, I ask. I said increase one. So if they didn't give me the correct answers, that means the Problematic situation is with not the error correction, it's with the double increase. Clear? So you have to be careful. Right? So now ledger accounts, it's now the ledger accounts, it's right. Uh, if you refer this ledger accounts in the sense, in all levels you have like D accounts. Now in A levels you don't have this. For a ledger account, what we take it as a, it's a T account that we take it. Ledger accounts means it's a T account. Ledger accounts means it's a T account, right? So this site, this site, we called it as debit site. This site, we called it as debit site. And the other site, we called it as the credit site. So this is called it as debit side, and the other part is called it as the credit side, right? That's how we. So this is the debit side, and it's a credit side, right? You could have like different different ledger accounts, right? I would say this is my. We'll say look here. What's this ledger? The entry you pass. This is double entry. This is called as double entries. These are double entries. These are double entries. These are double entries, but this is ledger account. This is ledger. These are double entries. These are ledger accounts. So this double entries we can present in a ledger account as well. It's something like this. If someone asks you to uh, describe Mahindra Rajapaksa, you could show them a photo. Look here. This is Mahindra Rajapaksa. If they are, uh, someone would say Mahindra Rajapaksa is someone like this, uh, wearing a sarong, then red color, something, it's there, right? So, and so that you could describe like that. So, this is also like a, you describe the double entries using the ledger accounts. Look here. Electricity expense debit 5000. So, we want to have a ledger account called electricity. We want to have a new account called electricity. We want to have a new account called electricity. Look here. Electricity has been debited 5,000. Then electricity would be debited 5,000. Electricity account should be debited 5,000. And what should be the description? What should be the description to here? Electricity should be debited 5,000. And what should be the description to here? The opposite account name. What's the opposite account? It's cash. So description should be opposite account. Look here, electricity debit. Yes, electricity has been debited 5,000, but don't write the electricity for this here. 
This is you write what's the opposite account name is. So opposite account name is cash. Then look here. The other entry is cash credit. Cash credit. Cash credit. Cash credit. Cash should be credited how much? 5,000. Then cash account credit. 5,000. Don't write here description as cash. This is wrong. Not the cash to be appeared. Here you write the opposite account name. Look here. This is cash credit. Opposite name is what is the opposite account? It's debited where? It's electricity. This is what we called it as ledger account. This is what we called it as ledger account. We'll take another one. Look here. Okay. Can you take down this? Put ledger accounts and take down these two and keep some space for cash account like uh, eight lines. And for electricity account, you could keep like five. For cash, I need like five lines. And for electricity, I would need like five lines. Right? Rule perhaps with the wrong electricity account and then rule attack with the wrong. Right? Attack with the wrong. Right? 10 lines. Keep space to write. Uh, Ten descriptions here. Here it's five. Okay. Write down the first one. Right. Take this account and take this. We'll move for the second one. Right. Just take it down quickly. Done, right? Shall we move for the second one, guys? Now these double entries, you have to record in ledger accounts. You have to record it in the ledger accounts. Right? Now look here. Second one is telephone debit. Telephone debit. Then we have to have another account called what? We have to have a 
another account called telephone. We have to have another account called telephone account. Look here. Whenever it comes a new one, you have to have a new T account. So telephone debit, look here. Then this 10,000 should be debited for telephone. Telephone should be debited. But for the description, can we write it the description as the telephone? No. The itself the account name cannot be recorded as the name to give. Is it clear as the description? So the, here the description should be the opposite account name. What's the opposite account name? Guys? What's the opposite account name? What's the opposite account name? Cash. Cash. Others? What here I have to write it down? Telephone debit or no? But for the description, you have to write it down the opposite account name. Yes, telephone were debited. Then opposite account was cash. So here you write it down cash. Right. Then look here, cash credit. You might answer, do we need to have a new T account? No, already we have a cash account. So here cash credit 10,000. Cash credit 10,000 and should be debited for where? Look here. Cash credit, no. Here the description should be the opposite account name. Cash credit, yes. Cash was credited. Then description should be the other account name. It's telephone. Is it clear? Double entry means you record this transaction into the ledger. Right? So ledger accounts means you take this transaction and take it for debit and credit. Shall we take another one? Insurance debit 25,000 cash credit. Look here, you don't have an insurance account. So I recommend you to take another account called what? Insurance. You can take any number of accounts. Insurance account. Insurance account. Look here, insurance debit. Now the insurance account has been debited 25,000. Yes, we'll debit 25,000. But description should be what? Insurance was debited, but the description should be what? Description should be the other account name, it's cash. It's cash. Is it clear? Then look here. The other one is cash credited. Then cash should be credited how much? 25,000. Here I taken it for credit side. Cash credit 25,000. But for the description, you can't write cash. You have to write the opposite account name. Opposite means insurance. Is it clear? So if it is cash credit, yes, cash account has been credited. But for the description, you write the opposite name. Opposite means insurance. Insurance were debited, but for here, you write the opposite account name. Is it done? Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Nimesha? Madhusha, Lakshika, Gavishka, and uh, Shenai, Tarushi, we are at the recovery class. The normal class, it's five o'clock. You can listen for this. Huh? Is it clear, Shenai? You are the very, you are the one who is listening for this for the very first time, I guess. Others have like at least listened for like in different, different occasions. Is it clear? Others? Shenai, is it clear? Because I'm just asked from you because you are the one who is listening for this for the very first time. Others, they might have heard this in different, different times. Right, okay. We have done the third one as well. Can you all do the fourth one? Can you all do the fourth one? Can you all do the fourth one, guys? Can you all do the fourth one?
Right, fourth one, just check whether you have done it correctly. Look here, computers debit 10,000. So you have to have a new account. You have to have a new account called computers. You have to have a new account called computers. You have to have a new account called computers. Look here, computers debit at 10,000. Isaac, is it clear now? You said it was not clear for you. Computers, it was debited 10,000. Look, yes, sir. computers, you debit it. Just take the new account and debit it. This debit and credit. Computers, it was debited 10,000. And here the description should be the opposite account. Opposite means this was debited. Opposite means credit. Here it's cash. Then cash should be credited 10,000. Cash should be credited 10,000. Then the cash should be credited 10,000. Cash credit means your cash account should be appeared in for the credit side, but for the description, you have to have the opposite account name, it's computers. Keep it in mind, at any case, once you credited the cash account, you can't, you can't write it itself, the particular account name. Is it clear? Yeah, Isaac, you can leave and just join for the next tomorrow class. Huh? Right, is that you can join for that straight away? Doesn't matter. That should be gone there. But uh, just join for my class or next tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow for the regular class, you can join it. Is it fine, Isa? Right. Okay. Bye. Right. And Roshana, give me some time that I'm at the, still the recovery class. Huh? So this is fine, right? Let me know who did this correctly. Just raise your hand, guys. Isaac, bye. See you on tomorrow. Whose answers were correct? Madhushan, Lakshika. Okay. Hirusha, is it fine? Nimasha? Right. Okay. So this one also fine. Then the fifth one. Right. Mamme Matika Kvela Rangara Panthi Kare. Pegula class again. Then up recover in the body. Right. So here it's anyway. Cash credit hundred and fifty thousand. So the cash should be credited. Look here. It start from debit one. Purchase debit. You don't have an account. So you take a new account called purchase account. Purchase account. Purchase account. So purchase account should be debited hundred and fifty thousand. Purchase account should be debited 150,000. Then cash account should be credited 150,000. Right? Then here it's purchase. Here it's purchase. Right? So purchase debit, you write it the opposite account name and cash credited, you write the opposite account name. So cash was credited, the opposite account name is purchase. Fine, right? Can you try for these three also? Can you try for these three also? Six, seven, and eight. Take it for the leisure accounts. And seems like the regular class students are also joining. So guys, just give me some time, right? Still at the recovery class, just give like five minutes till I finish off this double increase. Huh?
no no vihara e wage e wa karanna baya right vihara you can't do like that huh? right then 6 7 and 8 6 1 is traveling expenses debit 12500 traveling expenses debit 12500 Traveling expenses debit twelve thousand five hundred. Yeah, it should be debited twelve thousand five hundred. But for the description, you have to write the opposite account name. It's cash. It's cash. Then the credit entry is cash credit twelve thousand five hundred. So cash should be credited twelve thousand five hundred. Saying what traveling? Saying what traveling? Six one also done. So the seventh one. Marketing expenses debit twenty five thousand. Marketing expenses debit twenty five thousand. You have to say it's opposite account name. It's cash. Then cash should be credited twenty five thousand. You have to take it marketing expenses. Is it clear? Hopefully, I think you have already taken the last one as well. Right. So, any questions? The recovery class students from here. Any questions? Any problems? Any questions? Any problems? Any questions? Any problems? The recovery class students. Gaishika or someone? Nimasha. any questions any problems from that the recovery students newcomers fine right and newcomers this is your homework question question number 4 question number 4 right question number 4 you have to write the double entries and prepare the ledger accounts as well clear okay? you have to prepare the ledger accounts as well for question number 4 So the newcomers homework is question number four for you guys. Question number four is homework. Amma, okay. four is homework. Sumar, right? Question number four is homework, right? Question number four is homework. Question number four. It's homework for newcomers, right? Okay. Now I'll be starting the recover the regular class, right? Remember, doesn't matter. No worries. Uh, now I'll be starting the regular class. So for the question number four, it's homework for the our newcomers. So anyway, newcomers, recovery class students also could be retained in this classroom till the end, till the seven o'clock. There are some points you can manage it. from the knowledge that you have gained so far and there are few things uh, you don't understand doesn't matter just listen for this right the whatever you didn't understand parts will be discussed in the next few weeks right so then we can conclude this uh, recovery class things right so the regular class students let me know from which question we supposed to start now regular class students from which question we supposed to start Do we? Do you have any homeworks, guys? Regular class students, do you have any homeworks? Let me just give me two minutes, please. Just two minutes.
No, no, not now. Huh? 